All right, Moses, pretty good weekend for the Bobcats. Yeah, no kidding. Well, let's put it this way, November 4th, 2012. Well, mm -hmm. that was when the Bobcats earned five wins. They already got that mark, and we're not even done September. They went the first back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back stint, taking four of a possible six points. And Matt Schumann has a great story about a team that's seeking their fourth game winning streak or sought come to an end. And now they're going to regroup, to start a brand new one as they hit the road to face their rivals tomorrow night. It was almost a perfect weekend for the Bobcats after wins over the Calgary Mustangs and Olds Grizzlies. The Cats just came up short against the Fort McMurray Oil Barons as they collect four out of a possible six points over the three games. I thought it was a successful weekend and uh, you know we played a real strong team yesterday physically and, and uh, be able to come back today with the energy that we held, that we displayed and, and not having Grant in the lineup hurt us a little bit. We definitely worked pretty hard this weekend but uh, you know we, we would have liked the, the full six but uh, you know it's just uh, like the, like I said like the staying out of the box is just a huge huge thing in this game and then uh, you know we battled hard but you know when, they, when we give a momentum like that it's, it's hard hard to come back from. Despite the loss on Sunday, the Border City Bunch have won four of their last five games. More impressive has been the play of Tanner Dunkel, who has collected a point in all of the Bobcats' nine games this year. Just playing my game and obviously the, you know, my line mates as well, right? They, they definitely do help in chemistry and we work on it in practice and talk to each other while we're out there and that, that definitely does help. Now the Cats will have a day off on Monday, but once again hit the road for a Tuesday night tilt against the Bonneville Pontiacs. And after suffering a tough loss, the Orange and Blacks say they now have the confidence to have the ability to bounce back and string together another winning streak. we got to feel good about ourselves and confident. I, I think if we were looking in the mirror two weeks ago, we might have questioned ourselves sometimes as to where we're at and, and how we stack up against everybody. I think in the last two weeks, the guys have a lot of confidence and they feel that they're as good as anybody in the North right now. Stick to our systems and... Uh come there and we, we can't take them lightly. We just played the best team and they're going to be they're up there as well. So we got to play it just as hard and hopefully we'll come out with the win. Matt Schumann, Newcap Sports. The seventh annual AJHL Showcase was yet another huge success, giving players a chance to showcase their talents in front of all scouts at all different levels. Matt Schumann had a chance to talk with League Commissioner Ryan Bartoshik to get his thoughts on the event. The AJHL Showcase allows players from all 16 teams the chance to let their play do the talking in front of scouts from multiple leagues. And while it makes this showcase better from other leagues, it doesn't matter what your role is on the team. Whether it's a first line guy or a third line guy, there's a variety of, of schools here, whether it's from you know Div 1, Div 2, CIS, ACAC. So you know, our league's about developing, development and giving our guys options to move on and continue their careers. A total of 140 scouts from various leagues made the trip to Spruce Grove. And after talking to a couple scouts throughout the three-day event, Bartoschik says they couldn't have asked for a better way to do some scouting. They know what to expect now coming to Spruce Grove and coming to our league. And for us, it's really about building relationships with this group and our teams building those relationships. So, um, you know, I think we've gotten to a good spot and we'll continue to improve the event on a year by year basis. Now, as for the AJHL itself, the showcase has allowed for it to show off their brand, bringing in young and talented players from across the country. I think this season a lot of teams are really young and, and I think that's a good thing. And uh, It's funny to be in the scouts room and, and the highlighters come out and they identify their guys pretty quickly of who they're watching and, and there's always surprises. So, you know, I think it's great for our league as far as that exposure goes. Matt Schumann, Newcap Sports. All right, hockey closer to home. The Westminster Bandits opened up their junior B season at home against the Onion Lake Border Chiefs and they got off to the right skate with a 6-2 win. Michael McKay and Brant Kolibaba each had two goals for the Bandits, while Jared Wayhill and Brody Pollard also chipped in. The Bandits outshot Onion Lake 48 to 20, including a 17-7 margin in a four-goal third period. Up next for the Bandits are the Warriors from Saddle Lake in Saddle Lake Friday night. Now the Lakeland Rustlers soccer teams took to the pitch on Sunday to face the Medicine Hat Rattlers. The ladies hope to earn three points after losing to Lethbridge to kick off the weekend, while the men plan to take three points in their match after a draw on Saturday. Unfortunately for the women, they pick up their second loss of the weekend after falling 3-2 to Madison Hat. Hannah Henry and Chelsea Kosteski had the markers for the wrestlers. The men follow up their 3-3 draw with another one. They battle to a 1-1 scoreline 
with the Rattlers. Omar Amador, the talisman, the lone marker for Lakeland. And before we leave you tonight, a recap from the head of Vermilion Regatta. The Rustlers rowing team had one first place boat, the novice men's quad. Elsewhere, the novice women's eight finished in third to the University of Calgary, who had two boats going one and two in that event. The women's pair and women's four teams finished in second place in their races. Up next for the Rustlers will be the Provincial University Championships this Saturday.